So today I'm looking at this old Montgomery Ward cement mixer. This is something my dad had hanging around. I don't think he ever even used it. And uh, today, uh, well, I'm looking at uh, replacing the motor that was on it. I, uh, I went to try and use it and uh, the motor wouldn't spin. And I think it had just been left outside too long and uh, the elements got to the motor. All right, so I picked up this motor at uh, Tractor Supply. It was on clearance. It's a half horsepower motor, and uh, I'm hoping that it'll uh, it'll do the job, at least to uh, get me through pouring uh, some uh, sonnet tubes for the deck I'm building. This is the motor that was on the machine, and I don't think it was the original one that belonged on the machine. And uh, you can see this is not a sealed motor, and it had been uh, left outside in the elements, and it just it just won't spin. This was some sort of hack job. I don't even know what was going on here. So. Um, I ended up buying a pulley to put on this motor, but they didn't have the 2 inch pulley that was on this motor. I wasn't sure if I'd be able to get this off. and I'm not sure that it really matters, but um, I'm going to try and pull that 2 inch pulley off and use it on here. If not, I've got a 2.5 inch pulley, which I imagine will, uh, will work just fine as well. Um, with the belt and everything that's on the machine. So I guess right now what I'm going to do is go scrounge up a wire that I can use to uh, to hook this motor up and see how it spins. Okay, so I got everything wired up. I found this uh, goofy little um, extension cord thing that uh, I had never used. Um, this probably isn't the best application here for this, but it's what I've got and I think it'll work. Um, so then I, uh, I kind of cut, I cut this uh, receptacle end off of the cord and uh, wired it, and I've already got the cover on, but um, I wired it up uh, in accordance with this kind of left hand schematic for the uh, 110 voltage. And uh, the only thing that I noticed was that I wanted counterclockwise rotation, sort of as it mentions down at the bottom there, and I first set it up that way and uh, the thing rotated clockwise so I've actually reversed it as per the instructions there so I've got the black wire here and the red one down here and it rotates uh, counterclockwise now um, and then I wasn't able to get the pulley off of this old uh, motor everything was just too rusted up I even put some PB blaster on there and it uh, it wasn't coming off so I've, I've got this new pulley on here and uh, this may work a little better anyway because I think the belt was kind of loose and this will take up some of the tension so um, I guess I'll just plug it in here and uh, see what happens. I can, the nice thing about this is I can just use any old extension cord okay so there I there we go it's uh, working as specified and I've got the counterclockwise rotation which is what I believe I want for the, for the mixer. So I guess now the next thing is to just throw this on the mixer and see if everything works. Uh, hopefully this motor has got enough, uh, enough power and enough, uh, well, quality <laughs> to uh, spin a bunch of concrete. All right, after fiddling around here for a little bit, I think I finally got the motor mounted and uh, lined up more or less. Um, I've, I've got the guard off here just because uh, it was easier to get everything lined up with that off and in order to take that off this large pulley has to uh, come all the way off and that's just held on with a bolt there. So the motor is mounted on the frame and what I've done is I've had to space it off a little bit because of the belt that I have and what I did was I just used some washers and a nut and then a regular nut underneath to hold it all together. So now it's time to plug it in and see if it works. Okay, here we go. I'm going to uh, plug my extension cord into the pigtail I made for the motor and see what happens. I think in operation I'll probably use my uh, new handy dandy Variac so that I can kind of control the speed and, and slow it down or speed it up if need be. Uh, but for now I'm just going to plug it in and see if everything moves. Contact. Okay. Well, as you can see, everything's spinning. And I've 
got my counterclockwise rotation, which I think is right for this. I'm not 100% sure. That's probably to be expected. All right. So I think it's time to mix up some concrete. Okay, got the cement factory ready to go. Uh, cement mixer's all set and uh, ready to fire up. Got some uh, cement ready to go into the machine and get mixed. And I got a wheelbarrow there waiting to receive some mixed concrete and bring it over here to the tube. And I got the first one laid out here more or less in the hole. And what I did was compacted the dirt at the bottom of the hole. And then I don't know how visible it is here, but got uh, got some crushed stone at the bottom, cut a few inches, put the tube down and put a little more in the tube to just kind of hold everything. And uh, so we'll just mix up some concrete and fill her up. Okay, here we go. Mixing up some cement. You can see everything's working just fine. I had to tension the belt a little bit, it was slipping at first, so I took one of the washers out of there and uh, that tensioned everything up just fine. And uh, using the, uh, the very act there to kind of act as a switch and a little bit of a speed control. Okay, got the first tube all set. <clears throat> took about uh, four bags of concrete and I put the, the J-bolt in there and that, uh, that sort of rectangular imprint is where I used the, the post uh, support just to check to make sure the height of the bolt wasn't too high and then of course uh, put a 2013 penny in there for uh, well posterity and good luck and all that sort of thing so We'll see here. I think I got time to do the next one for this evening and then uh, call it quits.